How do you commission the new Samsung units? Today I'm going to show you how to commission these new Samsung units through the K switches. Let me show you. So it looks like it says unprepared, right? UP, unprepared. All you do is hit the, you can go to auto trial by pushing K2 six times, or you can go to um, auto trial commissioning mode or installation mode. So K2, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should have that right there. Unit's gonna come on and it's gonna go through its trial operation. And then we shouldn't have the UP anymore, all right? Be sure and check out Samsung HVAC downloads and go to, uh, go to the technical documents section. And then what you're gonna do is just simply type in the model number, right? So you just type in that right there model number for the unit that you're trying to commission everything's going to come up your exploded parts view where you can get your uh, different uh, part numbers for each part and you can look at what part you what you part you need and then you can actually get your service manual and it gives you a breakdown of how to take the unit apart so make sure that you access the knowledge that you already have for you that's out there you can hear fans running now and we're gonna wait it's gonna run maybe 10 15 minutes and then it shouldn't say unprepared and we should be able to uh, start the unit up and we should be in good shape all right here's our thermostat and you can tell it's in a test mode because it says 37 degrees so there's the return grill, and this is a ducted unit. It's up above the ceiling, so you can't see it. Really nice. I love these registers. Look at those registers. Those are so nice. Wow. Let me know what you think of those registers in the comment section. Now what's it say? It says pass, right? P-A-S-S. -S. Pass. Now we're going to see what to do next. So we type in Samsung HVAC. We click technical documents, right? Now I showed you the model and serial number AC0810. And then BX, scroll down, ADCH, right? Then we scroll down and we go to service manual. Click. I've already downloaded this manual, so should pop up and we were on page 441 right k2 auto check installation commissioning mode and then what we're going to do is we're going to push that k2 button one more time it's going to end the key operation let's do that now all right so we just hit k2 button one more time pa-ching there it is zero 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 now let's see what happens next so now we can choose between different modes, cool, dry, fan, heat. Looks like it's set for, let's set it for 72. And looks like it is, what is it in here? Turn the fan speed up. Okay, so it's 70, it's 69 in here. Set it for 72, see what happens. Still says 0000. zero, zero, zero. This is a single zone unit. That means we got one outdoor unit and one indoor unit. We match this outdoor unit with a ducted, a slim duct unit, which is above the ceiling. Now that we put it on heat, outdoor unit should kick on and should start warming up that indoor coil. And then when those sensors measure a temperature of 99 degrees on that coil, then the indoor fan will start to blow inside. So this unit should kick on here in a second. Outdoor unit's running. The vapor line is whew, nice and warm. All right, no codes. It's blowing out cool air, cold air. I'm gonna go in and make sure that the fan is blowing. All right, so fan's blowing. You can hear that air. So we're in good shape. I'm gonna set this for probably 68. They can get the flooring done. Turn the fan back to auto.
Make sure you use your installation manual with your wired remote controller. And you go to page 16 and you set up the different values for the description or functions. If you don't know how to do this, I'll put a video down below so you can learn more. For the older Samsung units, all you had to do was push the K1 button. For the newer units, you got to do the K2 seven times. I wanted you to have this information, so I figured I'd just do a real quick video on how to commission the newer Samsung units. If you want to learn more about ducted units, maybe how to uh, change the fan speed using the SNET tool or just how to use the SNET tool, uh, I've got videos on that and I'll put those down in the link in the description so that you can learn more. Check out SamsungHVAC.com for all kinds of technical documents where you can increase your knowledge and learning and you could be more prepared to commission equipment out in the field. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.